There are 9,000 of the most rabid, the most intense wrestling fans jam-packing this arena for IWA action. And they're about to see a match unparalleled. You won't see this anywhere in America right now. You can only see it in IWA as four of the most powerful, the most aggressive men ever in the sport of professional wrestling. There's two of them right now in Slash Venom and Apollo are going to go head-to-head -head inside what's called the Cage of Death. I'm Jerry Fox, and this is Matt Byron. So eloquently put, Matt Byron, you're right. This is the best-kept secret in pro wrestling today. It's IWA Puerto Rico. This is not your normal Monday night wrestling. This is not Tuesday night. This is not Thursday night. This is not primetime entertainment. This is aggression. This is brutality. This is a physicality you won't find anywhere else but IWA. And you see all these fans jam-packing this arena as two dark warriors about to make their way to the ring to settle a score inside the cage of death. Look at that. What a sight to behold. Look at the showmanship here. The, the people just love Ricky Banderas and Vampiro. The dark minions coming to the ring right now. The druids, as it were, carrying the flame, carrying the fire, the symbolism, the iconography. Just dark men with dark images are making their way to the ring. But the real darkness is when they start throwing those fists, when they start putting out those high-impact maneuvers. There they are, Byron. Ricky Banderas and international superstar Vampiro. Byron, how would you like to get hit with one of those gloves that Ricky Banderas is wearing right now? Oh, thank you, but no. Yeah, I know. All right, what are they going to do here? Oh, Good oh Lord. Look at, and these people are loving every second of it. I don't want to know where they got that stuff. I hope, for my sake, it's Kool-Aid. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, Ricky Banderas and Vampiro, too dark, too gothic warriors making their way inside the ring. They feed off the energy of these people here in IWA. They feed off the enthusiasm, and they take that enthusiasm, and they channel it to do damage inside that ring. And tonight it's not just your normal ring. It's a cage with weapons strewn across it. It's violence that borders on social irresponsibility, Jerry. And again, like you said, Matt, it is just an ocean of people. It's not like here what you're going to see on Monday nights with part of the building blocked off. There is nowhere to sit in this building. Look, it's people as far as the eye can see. And none of them are look, going to the concession stand right now. None of them are headed to the parking lot. They're here to see an intense battle inside that ring. And here we go. All four men inside. This is Texas Tornado Rules. No need for tags. No need for tag ropes. There's only violence, and all four men are free to do as they please inside. Everything is at their disposal. You've got to be impressed with Vampiro there with the onslaught that he just delivered. A fist of fury. On oh! The oh, my God. Overhead blockbuster suplex with such impact, such force, it knocked that chair straight off the cage as Slash Venom careens into the side of it. Don't count Slash Venom and Apollo out yet though in a match like this the tide can turn many times and all it takes is a second because there's so many different opportunities to get hurt Slash Venom saving his partner from a chair assault from Ricky Banderas. All four of these men are going for it. These supremely conditioned athletes nice are suplex. just going for it, man. Nice suplex by Vampiro only to turn around into the size 22 boot of Apollo. Oh, what a spear. The gore smeared all over the face of Ricky Banderas as his rib cage is crushed by that 280-pound hoss in Apollo, that big boot right between the shoulder blades. I'll tell you what, these are four supremely conditioned athletes, as we've said before, and they are set for nonstop, relentless violence, and all 9,000 of these fans here at IWA are getting every penny's worth as these men are going for it with everything they can get their hands on. And at this point, Ricky Banderas is just trying to get some air into those lungs. After that ginormous spear by Apollo. Look at Vampiro. Vampiro is feeling it right now. He is reveling in his, what he's about to do. And he did damage right between the eyes of that garbage can lid. Whoa, downstairs. You That's know, a good way to get a big man off his feet. For guys to fight like this, to sign up for a match like this, there's got to be a ton of history there. There's got to be a lot of anger there to try to go in there and not only put your own body on a line, but want to commit that kind of assault on another human being. And I'll tell you what, the violence, the anger, the hatred all four of these men share is well documented but quite frankly these men are too extreme for the united states that's why they've had to come down to iwa this is a class above and beyond a breed ab above and beyond hardcore wrestling this is ferocity at its sickest byron you bring up another terrific point 
This match right here makes ECW look like preschool. Vampiro, an outlaw wrestler on his own right. He's been all across the world, never been able to stick anywhere. Both those men throw that huge Apollo into the cage with such ferocity that the door, that locked door, flies open. Six foot five, 280 pounds of Apollo. Something's going to give. And the veteran slash oh, that feeling no, as well. There's no way he's getting up from that, Byron. And that's, for, and that's laceration right there. The plasma is flowing. It is as real as it gets. Slash Venom is in trouble right now. These guys are larger than life. These guys are superhuman. Just the fact that Slash, Slash Venom is fighting back here after the way his head hit and his neck snapped off of that cage. These men are warriors. They are gladiators. And a chair shot for one of these men could kill a normal human being. But Ricky Banderas felt every second of that impact. And quite frankly, he's such a prideful warrior he's going to be back on his feet but he's got apollo waiting for him with a big steel tra trash can he's still moving but not very well the gothic warriors are getting hammered right now by the monster apollo and the KG veteran slash venom you see that big two by six plank being set up in the corner that is as solid as solid gets that is wood and that is painful if you've ever been hit with a baseball bat that's pretty close to what you're going to be feeling right now and hopefully ricky banderas doesn't feel that yeah, let's hope not. Let's hope oh, get up from he it. spoke Dear too Lord. soon. Dear Lord, that might have done it for Ricky Banderas. His spinal column crushed across. Look at that camera shot. Dear God, ultra violent. Look at the blood streaming down the nose into the mouth of Vampiro. Apollo grinding his face like hamburger across that steel cage, the cage of death. It is living up to its name tonight as IWA fans are stunned at the brutality they're seeing inflicted on their favorites. Banderas, Vampiro, look at that though, look at Banderas fight back, oh he's cut off very quickly. You know, if you want to get a good glimpse of the emotion that's behind this match, look at the change in the people, Matt Byron, the concern, the looks of concern on the 9,000 plus here from when our heroes, or their heroes I should say, Vampiro and Ricky Banderas first came out. This is not just primetime entertainment to these people. They live and die with what their heroes and villains are doing inside of that ring. Great series of martial arts kicks by Vampiro, a well-traveled, well-schooled wrestler in so many styles as Slash Venom continues to punish Ricky Banderas, throwing him across that sharp cage. Byron, you are absolutely right. This is a part of their culture. Look at that big power bomb. It is the best kept secret in the Western Hemisphere. You're not you, kidding. You've seen wrestling, but this is a step above and beyond. IWA wrestling, so violent, so extreme, they had to bring it offshore. It's just amazing, simply amazing. These people are, are born and bred with IWA Puerto Rico, with wrestling in Puerto Rico. It's like, it's like the teat to these fans here. It is a live and life and death experience. You go up, you go down. Yeah, Look at that! Slash Venom on. just went down. They're both worse from the wear from that one. Dear Lord, did you see Ricky's ribs collapse on that one side What? he turned it around? What an athlete Ricky Banderas is reversing that doomsday device attempt and look at vampiro <laughs> look at Banderas. you tell me they're not feeling it what intense individuals these two are unbelievable and these people are going bananas look at them elated as ricky tries to climb out over the top to win this match if his feet hit the floor fans that's it that's uh the only way to win someone has to go over that cage and Bear the risk of falling 10 feet onto that hardwood floor as Ricky Banderas damn near did right there. You can see Vampiro. You can see Apollo fighting. You can see Banderas precariously on the edge as Slash Venom tries to drag him back in. Unbelievable. He drag him back in. He had him dangling from the top of that cage by nothing but his hair. And that's quite a head of hair as well. I'll tell you what, Banderas and Vampiro look like they should be on stage at OzFest, but they're warriors. They're fighters. They're here to do battle, and IWA is the perfect place for people who are warriors in this vein. If you've got the guts, exactly. If you've got the guts to survive down on that island, you're you, going to be a big star in this You've sport. proven yourself not only as a wrestler, but a tough, tough human being. Ricky is one-third of the way down here. We might have winners. No, he's not trying to escape. Look at that. What's he going to do? He's, he's going to give flip. these people what they want. The people are going bananas as he hits Apollo with one of the... 
greatest moves I've ever seen in pro wrestling. You want extreme? You want high flying? You want maximum impact? You're seeing it right here and look at this crowd. Look at all thousand upon thousand of these people loving what Ricky Banderas has just accomplished and Ricky Banderas feeling as well. But look out for Slash Venom. But Ricky just can't get up to try to get out of that cage. It took too much out of him. Oh! I'll tell you what, Jerry. Slash Venom a wrestler who was deemed too extreme, too violent for the United States, he had to go down and make his living in a much higher impact zone, in a much higher impact form of wrestling, and he found it in IWA. This guy's a well-kept secret. All four of these men are tremendous secrets, and you're seeing it right now, what oh. these kind of men can do. Look at the fear in Slash Venom's eyes as Vampiro stops him from climbing out over the top. Dear God! That had to be 24! Foot from the top of that cage to the mat, falling on nothing but his lower back and hips. Look at Vampiro missile drop kick. Right, and takes that six foot five, two hundred eighty pound Apollo right out of his boots. I've never seen a guy that size body contort like that in any form of sports: football, basketball. Wow, oh, dear lord! That Ricky was like a Dodge Charger coming down the highway, crushing the rib cage of Slash Venom. Ricky Banderas with a spear. Look at it. His stomach go in and out, Slash Venom, he's gasping for air. These four men are amazingly conditioned athletes. It's been over ten minutes inside the cage of death, and these men have been on a non-stop pace. These men are all action. These men are all violence. They are doing all the damage, and they are giving these people every cent of their money's worth. The thing that's, that's impressing me the most... I don't know what that rest deal is. I don't either. Well, there, there must have been some sort of payoff for some skullduggery and shenanigans here. Oh, a match like this. Oh, two size 20 boots to the face of Vampiro. He is a 280-pound hoss, as it were. 280 pounds of supremely conditioned beef. This guy could be a defensive end anywhere in the National Football League. You can see the conditioning on this guy, but he is an intense warrior, and he's found a home in IWA. The violence amazes me, but what really amazes me is the intestinal fortitude of all four of these competitors. They keep getting up, Byron. They're not giving up. This is not just entertainment to these men. This is a way of life. This is conditioning, this is ferocity, and this is a non-stop pace. They know what they're doing inside that ring counts. It is bringing these people here, 9,000, 10,000 strong, up and down. They're riding on this big emotional wave being supplied by all four of these men inside the cage. And look at that, wide open is Ricky Banderas. Look at that! You put it best. It's just a, an emotional roller coaster here. Wow. Oh, do you see Vampiro's head bounce off of that garbage can? I hope he didn't have any modeling gigs set up as Apollo and Slash Venom are doing damage to the face, that painted face, and now that bleeding face of Vampiro. Now Ricky Banderas is in serious trouble. Just imagine all four of these men are going to feel tomorrow if they can wake up and get out of bed. If they can stand. These men they may not be walking out of this cage at this pace, but look at Apollo. Very happy with himself here. And it's, well, he should be. That was an impressive move. And he turned that big... Uh, fireman's carry into a side suplex and nearly broke Ricky Banderas in half. An arrogant, charismatic feroce, ferocity of this man. It's unbelievable. I don't mean to make jokes here, but geez, look at that. I mean, that's so fitting of this match. You see that, that caution tape at the top? Don't cross police line. Exactly. This is a mugging. This is assault. This is like a car crash. I don't think any of these people want to get inside that cage and face the wrath of Apollo or any of these stars. Look at him do that damage like nothing. Wow. Vampiro with a low blow. Oh, but everything's legal. Anything goes. A couple of field goals there. And look at Banderas swinging that cane like a baseball bat, catching both his opponents right between the eyes. And getting the job done is Ricky Banderas and Vampiro as these people rise to their feet. 9,000, an ocean of people. And these dark warriors, look at that show of respect right now. Look at that crowd feeling what they're feeling. Trying to work up the guts to climb out and win this thing like true champions. Apollo was blasted with that garbage can, and five seconds later, he's back on his feet. What kind of athlete are we, athlete are we dealing with here? How is anybody going to climb out of this thing? Who can muster up the energy to climb up a 12-foot cage and then climb down another 15 feet to the floor after the beating? And oh, Boom! Speaking of beatings, what a power bomb! A back-checking power bomb 
I'm not so sure Vampiro can get up from that. I'm not so sure anyone man should be getting up from that, but Vampiro is trying. A mortal man couldn't get up from that. That should do it. Any one of us would be laying on that mat waiting for 911 to be coming through. But I'll tell you what, Vampiro, this is not his first dance inside a fighting environment. The cage of death is something unique in the sport of professional wrestling, and he has given his all right now. All four of these men are giving their all. I mean, look at it. You've got Vampiro down there sucking the air. You can see the short, choppy breaths. He's panicking, trying to get air into his lungs after that power bomb. Slash Venom. It's not just bleeding. Now it's it's like down to the bonus like plasma ricky banderas can barely walk and he's trying to climb out over the top to win this thing look at a ball oh that geez. chair full force right between the eyes of vampiro that had to put his lights out but both those men on the top rope look out face buster god how much more can all four of these men take this has been 15 minutes of relentless violence here in iwa I've never seen this type of back and forth action anywhere else. There's a spear attempt, and Apollo meets a steal. Look at Ricky Banderas. And Ricky's going out for the top. He's going out. He's trying to try to win this match. What a burst of energy, and he makes it. He we makes have it, a winner. He can't even stand up. Look at him laying in a pile of his own blood, and piss was awful. But what's this referee doing? This referee is locking Banderas out. Banderas and Vampiro are the winners of this match, but there may not be any winners, much less Vampiro. He might get decimated. It's a two-on-one assault, and the referee here is making sure Banderas can't get in to save his partner. What is? Look at this fan. Look at these fans. They're irate. You, can you imagine the frustration that Ricky Banderas must be feeling here? You can tell the man isn't even on his feet yet, but he's trying to get in there on pure instinct to try to save his brother. This is incredible. Somebody's got to help out Vampiro. I don't know what's going to happen next. The beating is continuing. It's, they better get somebody in there because they're going to kill Vampiro.